Okay, so we're going to give this tutorial a go here. I'm going to be showing you how to edit podcasts with uh, multiple hosts. So the podcast that I host is a two-man podcast about the Bulls. And the way that we do it is we use this program, Audacity. It's a uh, free software. It's, it's really good audio editing software. And what we do is uh, I have this installed on my computer. My partner, Will, has it installed on his computer. And we time down a countdown where we both hit this record button at the same time. And we record two separate tracks of our voices. And then later, uh, I go in and edit them together, which is what I'm going to be showing you guys today. So this is my audio. OK. You just hear it here. Just talk about and. You know, we're on episode So I need to overlay Will's audio onto mine in order to complete this podcast. So the way that I do that is I go to File, Import Audio, and Will has emailed me his exact same um, Audacity file that he's recorded. This is Will's. I should probably go over some of these tools that you're going to need to use as well in Audacity. So this is the record button, as I said. You know, these are just standard buttons, play, pause, whatever. The buttons we're going to be used for editing are mostly this one, which is the selection tool, where you select a section of audio and you can edit that portion. And then the other one we're going to be using is this uh, time shift tool, where we can move around portions of audio. And then you also need to use these magnifying tools um, just to like see uh, the, the length of your track this you know it's pretty self-explanatory zoom in and zoom out but they're very convenient to use okay so the first thing that we do when we edit these podcasts is as I said Will and I are recording two separate tracks and then I'm putting them together later in the editing process so one problem that can oftentimes arise is even though we're pressing the record button at the same time, um, they can be off a little bit. And you don't want that to happen because it'll end up that we're talking over each other. So the way you check that is, like you can see where I'm talking by these wavelengths. And then, so this is like me talking. This dead part is a silent part. And you can see this is Will's track, Will's talking here. So just go to a transition where I stop talking and he starts talking and see if that turns think of, we'll start with Dwayne Wade. Um, so that looks pretty good. Next one. That looks yeah, the next one was all. Uh, one thing that I like to do in the editing process is there will oftentimes be these gaps of silence between when we start talking. Uh, this one isn't that bad, but just to show you, like, um, I will often delete part of that track to make that gap shorter. And the way you do that is you get this time selection tool. And the way I do it is I hold down the shift button. And then I start the selection on this bottom track. While holding the shift button, I clip, click on this top track. And you can just select a portion of that audio. And you can also press spacebar to hear what that selection sounds like. So this one is just blank noise. Really good. And then you just hit backspace on your keyboard. And that deletes it. So this transition between us talking next one. Be a little bit smoother. Now. Yeah, the next one was. Okay, so that's the first thing. Next thing, Will and I take occasional breaks in our podcasts. And when we're recording, I have a notepad where I just write these breaks down. So for instance, um, at the 49 minute mark, we took a short break. So I'll go over to the 49 minute mark. Okay, well, uh, let's. So, so this is where I started the break, and I'll write down this time. You can see the audio position here is at forty-eight sixteen. Start back up again. I think like here maybe. So I think that wraps up our player evaluation. Yeah. So then what I want to do is have the selection tool on one track. Hold down Shift and go to the next track and go all the way to, what did I say it was, 4816. So right there. 
and then you just hit backspace and now we have um it would be nice to see that smooth transition there so i think that should probably delete that's a pretty big gap in sound again this is really sorry Another quick thing that I want to do here, this is what I always do when I start my editing process, is like a lot of times when one person is talking, the other track will have background noise either. So this is me, and then this is Will. So Will might be breathing here, he might be clicking a pen, maybe there's like some traffic in the background, and you can probably actually, like you can see that his microphone picked something up in these little spots here. So let's go and just like play this for example. I mean, how much is going to be an everyday thing, but the Bucks defense was really packed. So you can hear him like breathing and his chair creaking a little bit there. Um, so the way that I fix this is I highlight this entire section where he's just supposed to not be saying anything. And there's two ways to do this. The way that I do it is I just hit the shortcut control and L at the same time. If you don't want to use the shortcut, you can go to generate and silence the same thing and then when we go back and listen the Bucks defense was really packing the paint in when the starters were in the first quarter so like this I, it looks like they put something up on my mic here I don't know the Bulls don't shoot a great percentage because um, which is a lot That's which a is a number okay so like this portion here I don't know what I was doing but you can silence that so what I will do when I first start recording or excuse me, when I first start editing, is it's really easy to see what these dead portions are. Like here, Will isn't saying anything, so I'll hit Control L, silence that. Control L, silence that. Control L, and you just go through this entire track doing it. It seems a little bit tedious, but it actually doesn't take that long. This is like an hour podcast that we did, and this will take me roughly, um, I don't know, two minutes or something. And there's all, this is also really good for if you accidentally like talk over someone. I think I have a portion here where I did that. So here, this might be it. And yeah, this is this Bucks is a Bucks team like, without Chris Middleton. Who so you can hear that I accidentally talked over him here. So I'll go to this portion and I will silence it. And now- Are gonna just go to town. Now it's and this is fine, right? So again, it's like a little bit of a tedious step, but I think it's really important because it is very jarring when you hear like, especially like people have a tendency to type when one of the other person is talking and that's, I don't know, I find that like really difficult to listen to, just the constant swing it side to side and stuff like that. Next thing that I want to do here is you can see that the volume levels are kind of screwed up here. For whatever reason, my microphone wasn't really picking up my voice very well and the, these wavelengths show how loud the audio is. Mine are like really small. The other, aside from his three, here's like me, this is a better example here, and Will's are like bigger. Do all the things that Hoiberg, and this, this green bar shows you like how loud the volume is. So what you want is like in this range here, and mine is Do too low. all the things that Hoiberg was asking yeah, of him. Yeah, and again, like you said, he, he only played about 12 hard. minutes, so. So there's a couple ways you could fix that. One way is you can just raise the volume on this bar to raise the audio. If you just want to raise the audio of one particular section, like say this one part is too soft, you can go to jet, uh, let's see, what is that? Effect amplify, and that amplifies this little section. But the way that I like to do it is I'll do this uh, for pretty much every single track of every podcast we make. I'll just click here on this track and it selects the whole thing and you go to effect I'm going to do effect compressor and effect normalize I'm going to do both of these and what that does is it will make sure that the peaks first of all are like a normal level like what wills are and it'll also make sure like if one part is extremely loud it'll cut that down to um, like a what the average some sort of cutoff of what the maximum amplitude of this uh, wavelength should be okay so I just finished I think what did I do there I did compressor so now 
Well, let's just see like how, how it sounds now. You can see the wavelengths are much bigger in size. And then when I play, remember it was like in this zone earlier. Do all the things that Hoiberg was asking of him. Here. Yeah, and again, like you said, he, he only... It's a little bit louder. I still want to make it a little bit louder, so I might just raise this track a little bit. Okay, so now let's go to... And we can actually do this for both of these tracks. We can... Normalize them. So just by doing these three things, one, normalize, two, compress, and three, generating silence in these gaps, you're going to see a really, really dramatic increase in the sound quality of your podcast. And that's a step that most podcasts do not do and it's really simple very fast and it's really really worth it in my opinion just see like he was willing to step outside of his comfort zone and do all the things that hoiberg was asking of him yeah and again like you said he he only played so yeah that's basically it like um other things you want to do or what i do is i'll like go to these gaps where we transition from where we're talking we're gonna be happy with yeah, the other. And then I'll cut it down a little bit. And then if you want to get like really, really nitpicky, a lot of people have verbal tics. Say, mine is I say like way too much. Um, I've grown to accept it. <laughs> Will's is he says um or um a lot. It was a long days. time coming for Jimmy. He. <laughs> so you can get pretty good at it. You can like recognize the shape of the wavelength pretty easily. Like this is almost certainly an um. Um. Yeah. So then you just go. You have to remember to select it from both tracks because if you just cut this one, then this one's not going to be synced anymore. Let's go around. This looks like an um. Too. Um. Yeah. So if you want to be nitpicky, pretty easy to find this one. Um. And it does make a difference, like people do enjoy hearing higher quality. Um. Now what we need to do is add our intro and outro music. So the same way that I imported this file, I'm going to import, I have like a, a pre-made file here of um, intro music that I use for every episode. Hey guys, and welcome to episode number 10 of the Bull Court Press Podcast. So we actually have like a, we have an intro voice in, and I want this stuff, I want my talking to come in at the 30 second mark. You can hear like. By the Athletic, featuring Stephen Noe and Will Gottlieb. Bull Court Press is your. Right there. So the way that I move both of these is. I click this to select this entire track, then I hold down, while I'm holding down shift, I click the other one, so I have both of these selected, then I use this time select tool, time shift tool, and I move this to the 30 second mark. On Twitter. Hey guys, and welcome to... Let me just move that over a couple more seconds. That should be good. Okay, so... At the Athletic Shy on Twitter. Hey guys, and welcome to episode number ten of the Bull Court Press. Sounds good to me. Let's do the outro now. Same thing. Import audio, and here's my outro music. Click this here to select this whole thing. I'm gonna use the time shift tool and move this all the way to the end of my podcast right here. And I just want it. I want it to start playing um, like five seconds before I'm done talking. So this should be pretty good. Let's see how it sounds. And we will be back with a new episode on Friday to cover that Thursday night game. And until then, thank you guys so much for listening, and we will see you later.
So then what you do when you're all done, got this whole podcast done, go to file, export audio. I'm going to save it as an mp3 file. You can save it as whatever, but mp3 is like a smaller file. It's a little bit easier. This is full for press episode 10. Oops. Episode 10. And then you can fill in this tag information for if you put it on a player, like if you're playing this on iTunes or something or whatever. Said it takes a while, it takes a couple minutes to save. Hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, um, you can hit me up on Twitter. My Twitter name is Hungarian Jordan. Or you can always send me an email. Uh, Hungarian Jordan at gmail.com is probably the best place to reach me. And thanks for watching.